Hey fellow cave folk, today I want to talk to you about a hypothetical hand axe hafting technique. This idea was first brought to me by a now inactive YouTube channel called John H. John's videos set out to try and explain why there is little to no evidence of hand axe happening in the Paleolithic. Because they probably didn't, but this is all hypothetical. I won't go into too much detail, but he basically explains and shows how a hand axe can be hafted with a vice type dry fit. I will post a link down below of John's videos. I highly recommend them. They're uh, pretty interesting, and he's going to go into more detail than I did. So this got me thinking, much like how it probably got John thinking. If Neanderthals of the Mysterian culture, and other hominins for that matter, used hand axes as their version of a Swiss army knife, then could they have hafted and used them as hunting tools or weapons? Anyways, I wanted to have a go at it and make my own. So here it is. Before I go any further, I'd like to apologize. I did record myself creating the... Uh, the, ha the handles for the hand axes, but unfortunately the um, the video file is corrupted and I don't feel like going out and finding some more sticks because uh, I live in the city and I unfortunately don't have any land to myself so I can't just go to the local park and cut down a tree. I don't think uh, they would appreciate that so I have to find, I have to salvage all my wood from people throwing it out and all that. So I do apologize. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy, and I hope I could at least put my point across of what I'm trying to talk about, or what John was trying to say as well. All right, here's just a, here's what I was trying to show, tell you about. Put it in the sun, can't really see it, but um, you can see it's just a little vice type grip. Let me take it out real quick. So it's not actually hafted in there, it's just held in there tightly um, without any glue. And it does work. I'm going to pause the video and put it back. So there you go. Go back in. It's crooked because I didn't properly do it. But uh, I think that could be used as a club. Um, probably wouldn't be as effective as uh, with just a really blunt stick. Um, another thing I thought was, uh, interesting, I don't think they would be used as spears, because there's no way you're shoveling that through an animal, but maybe, uh, a pit spike, so when I mean pit spike, you just dig a big pit, and then you line a bunch of these, yes, that's Danny DeVito, um, you line a bunch of these in the bottom, or a couple of these, and then the animal's weight would actually do all the work, and that would, uh, that'd create a massive bleeding effect. <coughs> But of course, uh, none of those would compare to just a spear in a hunting situation. So, uh, yeah. Hope you got sort of the point. I'll show you the end of the spear. So, here it's just kind of held in. And you can just take it out. So, I don't know. I don't think this... Uh... Just another quick little interruption. When I say it's loosely fitted, um, I should have added that I think that it would be better for it to be loosely fitted rather than very, very tightly on it, because then you have less of a chance of the um, the tool actually snapping. Um, now I know it's very, very unlikely to snap a hand axe, but I'm pretty sure that with enough um, twisting and distortion, it could happen. So in a way, it's almost uh, a little beneficiary. That's not a word. How do you say that word? That's not important. It's almost a little beneficial to have uh, the hand axe swing off one way rather than breaking the stick and then having to redo everything with that. But again, just remember, this is all hypothetical. So take that, keep that in mind while watching this. Um, it's just something I'd like to bring, I wanted to bring up. And uh, I, I, again, I do encourage you all to go check out John's videos. Uh, so let's get back to the video. Would really work too well, but maybe different setup or something and the animal falls on and its weight causes the axe head to go through um just wanted to show these off here's another one 
Here's an axe head I recently made out of English flint. It's freaking beautiful. <coughs> oh, can't really see it. So I uh, just want to show you one more. This is a big level wah flake, flake knife or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it sits way better in there than the hand axe. So that could possibly work. This is a lot more pointier and uh, has sharper edges. And it's in there a lot better. So maybe that could work better. <coughs> Some things I'd like to add. This tool would not be the primary tool of choice. In my opinion, if it was ever used, it would have been used on trap prey or very slow moving prey, such as a deer with a broken leg or a seal on the beach. And we now know Neanderthals certainly hunted and ate seal meat and other aquatic meats, such as clams and fish from findings from the Neanderthal sites of Capriva Cave on the territory of Croatia and in northern Spain and a brand new site called Figuera Brava which is located 30 kilometers from Limson, Portugal. So maybe these could have been used for seal clubbing. I found this theory very interesting as no other hunting tools are really associated with Neanderthals other than the spear. I suppose they could, and they probably did, use traps or nets. They could have also used slings or a thing called a throwing stick, which is even more basic than a spear. Of course, most of these items are made from materials such as wood, animal tendons, and plant fibers, and did not last very long unlike stone tools. So, basically, it's possible, but we have literally no evidence to prove any of this. And they probably didn't. Like, you don't need to put a hand axe on the end of a stick if you already got a spearhead, right? Alright, uh... That's pretty much all I have to say on this. I really, really recommend going to see John's videos. He they're, they're very old videos, and he's no longer active on YouTube, like I said in the beginning, but he's going to go into a lot more detail than I would. I may do some videos in the future if I can get access to somebody's land. Like, i got to go ask for permission. But we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. The world's kind of in scrambles right now. Um... Um, and I know this theory probably doesn't hold any water, but it's definitely something interesting to think about. So let's start to some discussions down below. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, again, thank you for watching. See you guys. Stay safe and uh, wash your hands. It's my skin's reflecting. Look at that. It's crazy. I need to get out of the sun.